Hi Taurus, this is your love reading for June 2023 and you come in with the tower. Perhaps something is not built on solid foundation or if you are going into a relationship because this means going upwards and onwards, so going on to the next level, make sure that you know everything, that there are no secrets with the moon here twice, okay? You might feel out of sorts, but um, you are you, you don't want to feel out of sorts, so make sure that you've got all the information before you move on. And do make sure that some uh, this relationship, partnership in romance in particular, or in business, is built on proper foundations, so you don't get this tower moment. Now, if... Um, this tower moment does exist, then it is a new start, a new adventure. Don't be scared of it. You didn't make the choice, most probably, <clears throat> or the decision uh, to maintain this uh, tower upright. So make sure that if you start a relationship or if you're building a relationship, that you build it on solid foundations and that you are balanced and that you, I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice, <clears throat> and that you know all the ins and outs, so you won't feel out of sorts and lost. That's the all over um, energy. Some of you might all of a sudden also be moving home, because this card means moving home. The tower means to me long time or old maturity or high rise. So you could be moving from high-rise to a house and a garden. You might be downsizing or upsizing because we do have expansion here with um, Saturn taking responsibility and also um, Pluto regeneration and transformation. Now let me see where I saw Pluto. Here you are, that's Pluto. So yes, definitely a new start. You've also got the Hierophant. This can be an advisor, somebody telling you how to do things. This can be um, officiality, uh, official uh, discussions, authorities, uh, municipalities. I do feel that you are ambitious and you do want that promotion or that wage rise. So this could be a teacher, a professor. This could be a guide to guide you upwards and onwards. This could also be, like I said, with all that water here, that you are seeking spiritual advice, whether it's in religion or whether it's in yoga or meditation. You might be uh, going within and learning about yourself and where you want to go. Five means halfway there and also major changes and that is confirming the tower even if it is unexpected. Marriage is definitely in the cards. This is the marriage card. This is an opportunity or an offer or a proposal coming in of marriage. And the Four of Wands is lying underneath the Knight of Cups who comes in with news and a proposal. Celebrations are in the air. If you're not getting married, you could be uh, invited to a wedding or a housewarming party if you're not moving home. Four means that stability will return, like I said, with this beautiful card, the chariot, and also productivity. You've also got the five of cups underneath the seven of pentacles. Both these people are gazing away or dreaming. He's waiting and dreaming. He's taking a pause, uh, a break for a moment. With the five of cups, you are looking at the past most probably, perhaps letting go of the negativity. You've got two fives here, so this is also showing me that the angels have your back. 
you are coming back stronger and wiser. You've got your guides, definitely. Don't cry over spilled milk. Don't look at what you don't have. Learn from the past. And I think that is definitely coming through quite strongly in the general reading and this reading as well. That you've learned from the past. You know how to be flexible. You know how to uh, uh, bend with the wind like the bush does. And abundance is coming in. You know that you can stand up, dust yourself off, change the present and the future before this tower moment comes in. Make your decisions, otherwise the divine or the cosmos will do it for you. Also, take back control. I believe you have taken back control, definitely with the chariot again and with the four of wands and your guidance that you seek from professionals or people that you respect, trust and love. So there you are. Beautiful. You, this is your teacher. This could be a Gemini prominently or Libra or Aquarius could also be. You've got the wise owl. you using your wisdom and magic. The crow is also a sacred bird but also very intelligent and <clears throat> lucky. You're letting your vibes. Here you are. You've got the bat. The bat listens to his... Um, um, vibrations, your intuitive vibrations, your gut feelings. So it also shows me the vibrations of the mind. Like I said, this is the mind's card, the strength card for the mind. So definitely you are listening to your intuitions, your vibrations. If you have butterflies in your tummy, you know it is good. We've got butterflies here, actually. So definitely there is a, a transformation like um, the um, Pluto planet. Whoa, this is definitely... Keep on thinking positive because the scales are um, weighing in your uh, advantage because you've got the abundance card here, the three of wands. Now, this is your romance reading. I hope it resonates with you. If you <coughs> uh, are not interested in the romance, then see whether the finance, if that is what you wish for, um, uh, will resonate with you. But definitely, uh, good stuff is coming in. It is showing the energy of the uh, victory and celebrations with the four of wands as well. So there are definitely celebrations this week for you, Taurus. So take care, stay safe, and I'm going on to the financial reading right now. Thank you for your support. Hi, Taurus. This is your financial reading for June 2023. Okay. So here we go. You come in with the Three of Wands. Again, um, the Three of Wands, um, abundance are coming in. This means to me uh, definitely that you've got luck and abundance coming in. In this way, it is about money because this is the finance reading, but you can see there is celebration and good advice coming in if you seek advice and uh I think you will, um, and I think you will follow up the advice from mature and professional people. Definitely, it is confirming the other uh, three of ones uh, in life in general, in the general reading, it means love or finance. Well, we've got the answer, abundance is coming in materially. Wow. You've also got the Six of Wands, which is a lot uh, like the uh, Chariot, the Champion, the Victor, coming home, being held in, celebrations, going on to the next level in romance or in career. Definitely, this abundance can be because you can get a wage rise, or you might be making more commission, or you could be getting a promotion. 
you could definitely be moving home with uh, the six of wands, the four of wands, and the chariot. You could be um, coming together uh, and starting to live with each other instead of getting married. So you might be buying a home, doing it up, and then getting married. Because we do have the marriage card in all the three layers or readings. Wow, you might feel a little bit oppressed or sad or tired because you've got the Ten of Wands. Yes, you might be taking on too much hay onto your fork. So be careful in saying yes to everything. Take some time out for yourself. Like I said with the chariot, being the Fipto, you'll be in demand. The same with the Six of Wands. People might want your advice or your help because you are lucky and you have victory. They want what you want have. So don't let anybody push you around or uh, ask you. Just stay with the program. Finish off what you've started. Lighten your load by asking for help and starting to delegate. Ten means also a completion. Where there is a completion, there is an ending, and there will be a new beginning. Now, you had the Knight of Cups in your general reading and in your finance reading. We have the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups, and that is Pisces prominently, but don't forget Scorpio or Cancer. News about a child you could be finding out. The news could be that you are expecting and I believe peace, it's lying underneath the Five of Cups. Peace will be restored. A little offer will be coming in. The little white flower, peace will be restored. So I believe it's going to be good news. Now, also, um, you, you could be dealing with somebody that's naive or immature. So be alert especially now since you're very, very strong in your mind. You know what you want and you're going for it. Learn from the past, as I said, as it's also lying underneath the Five of Cups. Stay patient. Don't be silly and don't be foolish. Don't uh, uh, take fools lightly either. Magic is in the air. So definitely... Um, you have made your own magic. Number one, that is a new beginning. So you've got two ones here, the angelic doorway, to step through to a new beginning, especially monetarily and something materially, perhaps a new investment that will bring in great returns. Do ask the professional, the king of swords, uh, for advice. You can usually find them as bankers, uh, mortgage brokers, uh, accountants, bookkeepers, somebody that works for an institution or a professional body. You could be dealing with a Gemini or an Aries. And the king of source is prominently Gemini. So, And we are in Gemini time. If it isn't the person, it is now in Gemini. So there you go. Keep everything transparent and clear. Don't create illusions. Then you won't have any dissolutions. Wow, this is really, uh, com uh, this is so um, flowing in with each other in general. It's um, also resonating with the romance. And the general is also confirming the finances. That finances will improve. Also in the sense that uh, all the yeses that you have are being confirmed time and time again that you will have major success. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, stay safe and stay positive, especially in your mind because the pieces of puzzle are going to fall into place and the skills are balancing in your advantage. Take care, stay safe, and be blessed. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye.